marbles. Ooh, it's really card size. Stainless steel gadget for survival. Okay, what we have here? We have a knife. We have one, two, three, four, five, six fishing hooks. Also, we have small needles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven needles. Also, you can use this side as saw for cutting some wood. This is one saw and from this side we have another there are two of them i don't know what is this from this right side by the way the knife it's not sharp so you can do that on some kind of rock i will not detach anything of this i'm gonna keep it like this and wear on my camping gear which is great and let's test something this is metal this is magnet you can see I drag the magnet this is really stainless steel which is great for 80 cents you will get a survival kit in credit size I love it the link will be in the description below so you can check it no bubbles darn it this is the main unit with the relay i think the remote control that looks like a remote control for cars what it says in description the re remote control transmitter operate on 12 volts that is 23a 12 volt battery transmitting frequency is 433 MHz. and calling time fixed receiver sensitivity 105 decibels transmission de distance 100 meters okay operating voltage of the unit is from 5 volts to 80 volts we have four terminals two of them are DC input from the left side and from the right side is DC output the lights it stays on and you can turn it off this is the same for the off button and for the on button it's it's used for door locks maybe you hold it it's on if you release it it's off Turning on, turning off, and now the off switch is momentary, but the on when you hold it, you turn it on, and this way you can turn it off. Look, beautiful. This thing will be useful for my garden. I got it. comes with two connectors and we have one type A fast charging one type A 3.1 ampere and from the left and from the right side we have type C connectors on this one it says that can get delivered 3.1 ampere and from this side we have PD 30 watts and in the middle it should be the voltmeter let's power up Okay, positive and negative. I'm sending 12 volts DC voltage. Oh, take a look at that tiny voltmeter. It shows 12.1 volt with blue color. Beautiful. Okay, let's try to charge my phone now. 
plug it into where it says PD 30 watts and yes it says fast charging now the phone is charging I'm gonna turn on all three resistors as a load and right now it's pulling 17 watts two devices plug in into the socket working great oscilloscope beautiful I love it the DC output voltage it's clean I can feel it no bubbles oh why okay, okay. purple co color Ooh, it looks nice build of the PCB board you have a lot of ground pins positive pins and uh, digital pinouts or analog pinouts also here we have a jumper so you can choose whatever voltage you want 3.3 volts or 5 volts okay we have DC input jack that can be supplied with from 6.5 volts to 16 volts it says and if you are using a module like this one which is ESP W room you can attach it like this all right and now I have more pins from both sides beautiful type C and yes we have a power LED on the expansion board and also on the ESP module and probably you have a power bank not like mine because mine is super cool with transparent front panel and also it have a light with different modes take a look bright also it flashes and show the battery indicator in percent 25 50 70, 75 and 100 we, i have two usb ports right here i can cha charge it with type c and this is DIY power bank that use 3 8650 batteries so each one is 2000 milliampers together make 6 amperes this power bank is 6 amperes I will put a link in the description below so you can check it and isn't this good with transparent front panel so you can see the electronics power up and it's working of course but why I need an expansion board? Let me tell you. And to share my coffee page where you can buy me one coffee or more or be a monthly subscriber so you can support my work and support electronics. Thank you very much. The link will be in the description below so you can check it. Couple of weeks ago I ordered this module. And what is it? It's a LED matrix RGB 8x8 six, 64 LEDs that can be programmed to show whatever you want. And from AliExpress, starting from one US dollar and up, is going to five or six, maybe five to six US dollars. Maybe you can choose whatever shape you want. They have circle, they have small cubes. Take a look and these LEDs are programmable. Where is it? So many. Here it is. I will put a link in the description below so you can check it. And this thing have uh, the LED chip WS2812 and can be programmed to show whatever color you want and in today's video i will show you some new diy project let's start for the code example that i will show you right now 
also you need this module which is ESP8266 Arduino module that can be programmed with whatever code you want also it's a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and this thing after I upload the code to the module this module will control the LED matrix and yes it will be with the app and you can control the LED matrix with your app let's go to color wipe maybe it's better to turn off the studio lights let's do that oh. my camera okay okay let's lower the brightness so you can see better nice let's go with color wipe reverse color wipe random that is a nice one beautiful single dynamic oh i love this pattern blinking all the colors multi dynamic rainbow whoa A lot of effects rainbow cycle also this one is beautiful take a look nice nice dual scan fate running lights there are so many effects twinkle oh this one is good twinkle random oh take a look and of course you can adjust the speed getting slower and this thing for for the holidays for the new year it with it will be awesome beautiful so many effects take a look flash sparkle hyper spikle oh and you can change the color of course blue white uh, no bubbles here it is the guy with that instruction manual that I need to read I will not throw away because this thing is something new for me okay There is only two buttons, set button and power button. From behind there is nothing except the wires for input DC voltage and this is the sensor for measuring the temperature. And take a look at the, that display. Okay, let me explain. From the left side we have the temperature measurement. Right now it's 24 degrees. From the right side we have the percent 68 percent telling that the battery is full with in percent we have this battery indicator indicator right here you can turn it off turn it on and how to set for which battery also when you press the set button it shows the voltage 12.3 that i'm sending from my power supply and when you hold the set button you go into the menu and 1P means which battery you are using. It says that 1P is to for lead acid batteries and you can choose between 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84 and back to 12. Right now it's set on 12 volts. Will the alarm beep? yes we have a flashing signal that the battery is low seven percent and let's go back to 12.8 volts fully charged no nope, 89 percent 13 volts 13.4 
100%. For $1 from AliExpress, you can buy one of these screens. And they come in different sizes with 1.3 inch, 1.44 inch, 1.8 inch. Oh, no bubbles. Why they ship it with no bubbles? This, this can be easily broken. Oh, it has a foam. I can take it. It has a foam that is uh, protecting the screen. Ooh. And first that I need to mention, and you need to remember that this screen is working on 3.3 volts, not 5. Also have more connection Connection pins. Should I remove the protector? Yes. This time, yes. Ooh. Looking nice. Let's see, 360 degrees. Okay. Now I'm ready for uploading the the codes. Powering in three, two, one. White hello! First was the white screen and this time is blue screen with hello white letters. I like it. Beautiful. This was the first code and the most simplest. Let's go to the second code. And I have uploaded the second code example for this beautiful screen and it's a Wi-Fi project and to mention all the codes will be in description below so you can check it and download and make your own DIY project and this code is called color picker it's connected with my Wi-Fi network when I visit the website and hit blue the blue screen the screen goes blue I can choose red or green, red, cyan, yellow, magenta, white, purple, orange, oh, orange, the orange is blue, why? Oh, a mistake in the code. Okay, it's not a problem, you get the point. This is nice, now the ESP module is connected to my Wi-Fi network and through my phone I can with my phone I can control the screen color. On this module, which is OLED screen, it shows only one color, maybe two. And it's little smaller screen. But this screen is bigger, 1.44 inches, 128 by 128 pixels LCD screen color. And I love it. 